Hey guys, my name is Kevin Carden. I am a photographer and digital artist and welcome to another quick tip in Photoshop on how to blend fish into your background. So I got this image off of unsplash.com and anytime I do a picture like this, I like to select a picture that has a lot of fog in it. And the reason I want all of this fog and atmosphere is because when you look at pictures of fish, a lot of times when it's underwater, the uh, the water is a little bit murky, it looks foggy, and uh, the light is very diffused. And so that helps when you uh, have a foggy background to start with. So I'm gonna go ahead and just go ahead and place all of these fish. Uh, I've cut them out of the background. I'm just gonna place them into the scene. And uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna figure out the best place for these uh, fish to go. And then we're gonna try to blend them into the background the best way that we can. All right, so the next thing we want to do is figure out where all these fish are gonna go. This is a very important part of your composition and just figuring out the best placement for them. So what I've done is I've created, uh, I've got three fish in this image. I've got one back here in the background. He's gonna be furthest away from the camera, uh, way back in the trees. Then I've got another one, I've got it named the mid-ground fish. He's gonna be right in the middle, uh, behind some of the trees, but not all of the trees. And then we've got one more, this foreground fish, that he's gonna be the closest one to the camera and uh, in front of all of these trees. Now, to get these two uh, fish in the, the, um, the background behind the trees, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a layer mask on all of these fish, and then I'm going to go to my magic wand tool and select out these dark colors of these trees, just like that. And then I'm going to paint out uh, black on these mid-ground and background fish. All right, now that the fish are behind the trees, we just wanna work on them one at a time and try to make them blend into the scene. So we'll start off with the mid-ground fish. I'm going to do a levels adjustment on him and make him a lot less contrasty. He's very vibrant, he's very bright, and uh, it's a foggy day, so he's not gonna be quite that bright. So I'm just gonna take out some contrast using a levels adjustment here. And then I'm probably gonna make another layer on top of that and get some of this fog color and then just paint a little bit on the top of his uh, body and his head because the light source is coming from the top. And so that's gonna be the brightest part of this fish. And you can also get some dark shadows that are gonna go underneath him as well. Just really painting some bright lights on the top and painting some dark shadows underneath his belly. All right, let's go ahead and work on the background fish as well. So the same thing, we're gonna do a levels adjustment really to just tone down that contrast, bring your whites in really well and bring your blacks in also, just making him a lot, uh, a lot less contrast, a lot more fading into that background. And then I'm going to do a layer on top of him. I'm gonna sample some of these fog colors and just kind of paint all over top of him like this, especially on the top of his head and the top of his body. And that's gonna really gonna put him really far into the background and make it look like the fog is, is covering him and uh, he's, he's really far away. And finally, let's work on this foreground fish. And uh, we want to, again, do a levels adjustment and just kind of tone down that contrast again. He's just a little bit too heavy on the contrast, but not quite as much as the other fish. And his uh, colors are very vibrant. So I'm just gonna do a black and white filter on him and then just tone that down, really just to tone down those colors. And then just like the other fish, I wanna make sure that there's a lot of highlights here on the top of the fish. So I'm just gonna paint some white up here on the bottom, on the top. And then on the bottom, make sure we have some nice dark colors, just to make sure that uh, he's being lit from the top and he's got some nice shadows down below him. And I'm also gonna make a new layer uh, below him and get a nice little brown color, change it to multiply. And this is gonna be the shadow uh, that he is casting on this little field below him. All right, what we want to do now is we want to add uh, another element to this image. We want to add a person to it. So I found this picture of uh, this man, uh, again, on unsplash.com. And what we're gonna do is we're going to bring him into the scene. He's already standing in a field, which is pretty awesome. And I'm gonna put him uh, pretty much right here on the front part of this image. And uh, what I want to do with this is I wanna make sure that he's in front of this fish, this big fish, and he's blocking it. And so all I want to do is just mask out uh, where that, that field is and uh, so he can look like he's actually in the scene. Uh, but sometimes it's really good to just add people into your picture. That way um, it looks like uh, you know they're blocking part of that fish that's in front of them. And it also helps uh, create some kind of a scale so you can figure out how big these fish actually are. 
And uh, so it's really helpful to add other elements like people into your images. And of course, we want to do a little bit more uh, blending with him as well. All right, the last thing we're gonna do is add some water to the very top. So I've got this picture of uh, underwater scene. This is again from unsplash.com. And I'm just gonna take this all the way to the top and then I'm gonna change it to soft light. And you can see how it, it applies that underwater effect to the top part of the image, but we want it to affect the entire image. So let's just grab a blue color and then just paint it on the entire picture. That way it affects everything below it. Change it to soft light and that looks pretty good like that. But I don't like that blue like that. I don't like this, so I'm just gonna make it uh, monochrome, Control, Shift, and U. We'll make it a monochrome water image. And then what we'll do is we'll do a little bit of color adjustment where I go to selective color. I'm gonna go to my neutrals, take out some yellow, add some cyans, go to my blacks and take out some cyans as well. But guys, that is my quick tip for how to add fish to your image. I hope that you enjoy this tutorial and thanks so much for watching this video.